I went on Good Morning Andy. Uh, obviously, it's still quite it's a little bit quiet here, so I thought I'd grab you while I've got a chance. Always gets pretty busy around this uh, solo stand. It does. All the other classes will say the same thing about their bikes. Anyway, we can do it. Right, I see. Uh, thanks, uh, first of all, for um, your sponsorship of the uh, Scottish uh, areas. And uh, Scottish chats. I know you're what you're willing. Um, you know, Patrick's always uh, massaging you up to uh, to get free stuff and that. But uh, you know, it's a class we thank you, and I'm sure the Scottish guys are very thankful. We've been yeah. supporting them for quite a few years as well, haven't you? Well, I mean. Started in a solo, so we're always going to support the solos for till day dot, really. I guess it's in our blood, so yeah. Great, and I see also we've got the, uh, the MO boat behind us, which has got the HC sail on it. Yeah, uh, so let's talk about that. Uh, talk about that sail to me. Uh, so, this is our standard cross cut uh, mainsail, um, same sail that I've been using for a few years now. Um, it obviously used to be gold color, uh, but contender sail cloth who supply the cloth decided. Uh, yellow had done its time, so they turned it into black. But it's exactly the same construction. And, um, for, for a sail maker, is that, is that more difficult? I mean, uh, when you're putting the panels together, you know, uh, the, the, the ODL sometimes is a bit of a pain to, you know, when, you, when you're marking it out. How do you find that with this? No, it's fine. Uh, the, uh, you know, the plotter cuts a very nice. Uh, clean lines and, and you know the, the pens on it are very crisp clear so it's it's very easy and, and very simple um, and it's quite a quick sale to put together as well uh, in all trying to keep costs down with rising cloth prices at the moment uh, so really it's um, it's a good sale all round to, to put together for the solar. Okay yeah let's just, just do a quick um, a sale tuning 101 then okay so uh, just for whoever's going to be uh, Getting the pleasure of taking the demo boat out with the HD sail on. Uh, let's say you're, you're going out in uh, Force 2, how are you going to set the sail up? Uh, so, in a Force 2, if, it's, if you haven't quite got your weight on the side, um, I'd probably say uh, travel is going to be down quite a long way. Uh, probably a good two, 250 millimetres down from the centre, uh, and actually just having a little bit of, a little bit of kick you're on, uh, only a couple of inches, and this just flattens the entry out. Um, and it also just helps keep the boom out as well. Um, in all, in all, uh, on this at the moment, it's just a, not quite set up correctly because it's just pulling down a bit too much. But ideally, you'd have the in all fairly slack to allow this end, uh, part of the mainsail to get flatter. Um, I'd probably have um, just a fair bit of out all on as well, just to keep it nice and flat and uh, float and move across the sails steadily. That, that's when we talk about um, leech profile, is it, is it the, the, the back of the sail? Yeah. Is that just what, keeping, it, keeping it open so it's not hooking? I guess? Yeah, well, because you, because effectively you're actually sailing around with quite a, a little bit of kicker on, you do need to put the traveller further down uh, to keep the leech of the sail open, to keep the, the sail moving, uh, the boat moving through the water. Yeah. You know, I think what a lot of people in the solo do is they end up with no kicker on, the mast gets too straight, the sail gets too deep in, in, a, in a, around the loft area, uh, and then they're having to ease main sheet to try and keep the leech open, and everything's just a bit too close, whereas if you pull on a bit of kicker, flatten the entry off of the main sail, put the boom out, you'll, have, you'll create much more of a, a stable sail shape, which should generate power a lot sooner, uh, and should be easier to trim in light air. Okay. All right. So we we shifted up to force what sort of three to four. Three to four. A bit, bit easier. You're out. Yeah. Potential planing. Yeah. So you probably just find that the uh, main sheet's just starting to come off the centre line now. Um, as soon as you kind of got your bomb sat on the side, uh, you probably want the traveller down about two inches, um, and the end of the boom would be just on the inside of the back tank. Okay. And you're using probably quite a lot of main sheet tension then to generate plenty of power and, and keep yourself hiking at all times. And then as the power the power increases, you then start pulling on a bit more Cunningham. If the boom's coming off off, uh, off the centre with um, you know you have to use main sheet through the gusts, okay. then you start want to pull on a bit a little bit more kicker to uh, keep the leech stable and keep the mainsail um, generating plenty of power. Okay. And uh, how about um, strong winds? Now? Strong winds. So we're pretty much surviving conditions. Yeah. I just lock the lock the traveller off in the middle. It's something you're not really going to worry about. Kick is the main control, really. You're just going to try and keep the boat flat uh, with the right amount of kicker. Again, looking to keep the boom either just off the back quarter, um, probably about 
12 inches out from the corner. Uh, if, if, it, if you're in kind of choppier conditions, I'd probably knock the kicker off a smidgen, just so the boom can come in a little bit closer to the centre line and give me a little bit more twist. But bringing the boom in just keeps my height and pointing ability. Um, centre boards obviously just come up a little bit more to try and give you a little bit more deep power. Is that a feel thing? That will be a feel thing, and it'll feel you'll feel that on the helm. Um, if you feel like you're fighting the rudder a bit, you've probably got too much centre board down, so it's just worth just knocking that up a little bit. Personally, uh, I like to have the boat effectively talk to me a bit more, so I do like a little bit of fight in it. Um, so I probably don't sail with the board up as much as some others. Um, but again, that will just come down to people's feel and how they feel like they're going through the water. Well, that's it. Hopefully, whoever gets to take the boat out will be able to take that on board and uh, they'll have a good time and buy a solo. Yeah, I hope so, yeah. <laughs>